Hello. So this video is on uh, calculating a tip. Um, tipping may not be a universal expectation, but it is common in American restaurants. Many, many, uh, many servers in America are paid less than the minimum hourly wage, depending on local laws where they are working, and their tips provide a significant part of their income. There are there are always uh, there also a long history associated with tipping in the United States. If you've gotten good service, leave our server an appropriate tip for a job well done. But many diners aren't quite sure um, about tipping rules and etiquette and how to actually calculate a tip. So, how much to tip? In the United States, the average tip at a restaurant is generally considered to be between 15 to 20 percent of the bill. However, a 2016 um, survey found that the average of tip in American restaurants was actually 18.9%. Recently, a few restaurants, especially on the East and West Coast, have been doing away with tips and calling themselves tip-inclusive restaurants. These restaurants raise the hourly pay for servers to cover for their loss of tips, and you are not required to leave a tip. But by far, the majority of restaurants are not tip-inclusive, and you should leave a tip for the server unless you are certain it is a tip-inclusive restaurant. Um, usually there's a note on the menu or the check. But the United States is not the norm. Um, in Italy, for example, people either do not tip or tip very little, especially since um, most will include a service of charge fee. And in Ireland, tipping of around 10% is recommended at Irish pubs and restaurants. So, how do you calculate a tip? Once you've decided on the percentage of tip you want to leave, calculate your tip based on the total before tax. Also check and see if there's a service charge, in which case you should not leave any additional tip, unless you had an exceptional experience with the staff. Um, if you ordered a lot of alcoholic drinks, you might want to calculate your tip on your food separately from your drinks. You can tip at a lower rate for drinks, usually around 10 to 15 percent rather than the 15 to 20 percent that is usual for food. Um, if you've used any coupons or discounts, calculate your tip based on how much you would have paid without those discounts. So if you have special requests or requirements such as a large party, young children who had made a mess, or special dietary restrictions, it's considered it's considerate and fair to leave a slightly higher tip. Even if the owner of the restaurant serves you, you should tip him at least 15%. It's been argued that it is not necessary to tip owners because of the owner because if the owner is your server, you aren't depriving the owner of his pay in the same way you would deprive a server. However, adequate adequate requires that you tip the owner because the owner is providing you with a service and you are responding to that service by providing him with a bit of extra compensation. So, mental arithmetic. Um, there are two useful methods um, to use useful mental arithmetic tricks to calculating tips. If you are tipping 15%, multiply the pre-tax amount by 10% and then add half of that amount. So if you have a bill for Twenty-seven fifty. Ten percent is two seventy-five, and a half of that amount is roughly one thirty-eight. The total tip would be four dollars and thirteen cents, and a four dollar and twenty tip would be perfectly acceptable. Another easy method is to look at your sales tax amount. If your sales tax is roughly eight percent, then double that amount, and your server will get fifteen to sixteen percent tip. A 20% tip is simple to calculate. Just figure out 10% of the bill and multiply it by 2. Um, I try to leave towards the 20% mark. I know how hard it is to be a server. Um, and like, they deserve a livable wage. And if I can give that extra amount, you know, to give up to 20%, I will. Um, a lot of restaurants now have it. Right on the bill, you can do, okay, like, at Olive Garden, you can hit a button that says 15%, 20% to add that to your bill. So that's nice because then some people who may not like to sit down and try to do the math um, 
can just add it right on. So thanks for watching.